I'm making this up as I go along at the moment. That's just an ordinary pin going through the middle of a toothpick. A couple of tiny glass beads. I've squashed the end of the pin flat. And I'm going to put some epoxy glue on there to try and hold it all together. And then I shall cut some propeller blades and glue them onto there. That's sealed it in a little bit of two-pack epoxy. That's the stuff. Slight change of plan for the fuselage. I've just found I've got this plywood left over from some of those um, dinosaur kits. So I'm going to see if I can cut that to be the right sort of shape. That's my plywood fuselage now. It's going to be much, much heavier than it should be. Cotton bud for the propeller bearing. It's a close-up of my propeller bearing assembly. I shall wrap some cotton around it and glue it onto here. Gorilla glue on the wood and dampened the blades. Now I'm going to stand it over here. And adjust the pitch by eye. It's not going to be a very efficient propeller. It'll just be interesting to see if it works. Another problem I've got is we need to make this curved center rib out of light 1 16th balsa. Well, as I say, I haven't got any balsa. So I've heated up a, or steamed, a coffee stirrer here and left it wrapped around this roll of tape so that when it cools down we should have a curve on it and then I'll use that for my 1 16th balsa. Again it's going to be much too heavy. I'll sand it down a little bit and then we have to glue it to short sticks. Now I'm looking at this it looks like the front is glued to the fuselage and the back goes into a paper tube that allows you to raise it and lower it to adjust the angle of attack of the wing. I think I'll probably be using toothpicks for these. <laughs> 